Uh, let's talk about the love triangles because, you know, there is a little, I mean, it is a drama series, right? <laughs> There's a lot okay. going on, right? <laughs> you always need the love triangles this season. Who do you think, as a fan of the show now and, and knowing what you know, who do you think she is meant for? <laughs> well, I don't think it's any of her loves in the first season. <laughs> it's that, yeah. it's that she is only 29 years old, has not dated in six years. She needs some more experience. We need to practice. That's right. At least she was getting so out there. She's yeah. trying to find the balance. Right. You know? So she's trying. She's getting out there, but training wheels. So <laughs> Ingrid's got to practice. She's got to try. And all these boys that keep distracting her from trying to make partner. I mean, we love the drama, but keep it coming. <laughs> Being on the partner track is how you find out who you really are. It's cutthroat. And I'm so close. You have worked nonstop for six years. It's in the back. Do you really think you can start dating New York's most eligible trust friend without anyone noticing? Now that I'm on the Suncorp case, I may never have time for date again. Don't let this place suck you dry, Ingrid. I feel like with any new series, it's easy to try to draw comparisons to other shows just to kind of figure out what it is, right? And I will say you're in good company because this show is being compared to other series like Sex in the City, Suits. I'm even getting kind of like Emily in Paris vibes. What do you make of that? What do you think? I'm honored. These are all <laughs> the shows I love, so it's such an honor. I feel like you're right. It's tough. It's tough shooting a pilot or a new show and trying to figure out the feel or the color, the sound, the music. Now that I've seen the show, I'm like, oh, okay. How I would you describe it? it? It's definitely different. I yeah. feel like it's not exactly a show that we've seen before. It feels very fresh and new. There are elements that I feel like, of course, we see some similarities, but I feel like it's got a lot of moments for me that feel like movie moments. It's very mm. fun. It is Ingrid marching through Manhattan trying to make it in this city. And so I love the Sex and the City um, comparison because obviously love that show and there's so yeah. many great moments in it. But this is still a drama and there is still real things happening. It's very relatable. It's tough. There's moments where we might be crying, we might be angry, or we might be laughing. And it's so, like this roller coaster of emotion. It is. It yeah. is. And I feel like just as people are are now watching um, the screeners and I'm getting like text. I love that people are angry, right? <laughs> happy, people are arguing. <laughs> I love it. It's the emotions that we want. I have no idea how hard it is to be a person of color at this point. When we're at the top, we push them inch by inch. I will not measure progress in inches. The emotions are very diverse, but also I feel like the one thing that is, I would say probably the one thing we all can agree on is that we're all rooting for Ingrid, you know? Like we're rooting for her back. She's this first generation Korean American woman really trying to like carve her own path. And even though she makes it look easy and doesn't let people see her sweat, we all know that's not reality, right? I mean, how much could you relate to Ingrid in this character? <sighs> I mean, there are so many moments I relate to Ingrid or so many times where I'm like, oh, we hate how invisible she feels or how she's doing all the hard work, not getting the credit, being sort of pushed aside or overlooked or all those, you know, we all hate the misogyny and the patriarchal yes. system. There are so many moments where I'm just like, oh, I hate it, but I love that we show it. That's special. It is rare that we get to see it slowly see it. Some of these moments that I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so long and painful, but it's good. We need that. And how great is it that we get to see this today? I mean, this is not a show that only Asian American women are going to relate to. This is a show that minorities, men, female, anyone in a tough field where they're the minority will relate. I feel like there's a little something for everyone and every character is on a journey. We see everyone battling themselves, battling their identity or what they want, who they want, who they are. Oh, yeah, I'm so excited. <laughs> it really does have something for everybody, including, you know, for people who loved, with Sex in the City, we got to get like everything that's going on with those characters in the city, but also the fashion. And I feel like the fashion also tells its own story in this show. Let's talk about the clothes. How fun was it for you to work with the costumer on this? We love the clothes. I mean, all of the characters have such a distinct style and I yeah. feel like really special, especially for Tyler, Rachel, and Ingrid, like the trio. I love that their style is so good. really different. You know, I always say style-wise, I'm like, ooh, I love Rachel in her chic, chic black. I love Tyler in his fabulous suits, tailoring. Right. Did I never, wow, I just, speechless. 
did not realize how much of a difference good tailoring can do. Right? And that's so true for the world she's in too. I feel like you really have to have like a tailored look, you know? You gotta look good. And even for Ingrid, I mean, some of these suits, who knew? Like a vintage Valentino suit, okay. Or that little Dior moment. She's got these great looks that are fitted so well. And I feel like it's very nice to see a woman who is a in a position of power, mm -hmm. who is strong and brilliant, who isn't afraid to show her feminine side. Yes. Not afraid to show a bit of softness because that's who she is. I think the fact that we first see Ingrid in pink in a sea of gray says everything. It really sets up what we're about to watch. You know, I loved it. Like, I didn't see that, but they saw that. Like, Georgia, customers, everybody involved saw that. And I, now, as a viewer watching it, I'm like, oh, you guys it's are brilliant. It's instantly iconic, you know, that first look. It's amazing. Yes, honey. We know you're not a part of the movie, but I want to ask you about Teen Wolf. Do you have a message for fans who are maybe a little bummed that we're not going to be able to see Kira this time around? Aw, well, one, I will always love the fans, and I'm so thankful for the moment that I got to be Kira and thankful that fans still remember her. And yeah, I mean, it's okay. She still lived and she had her time. So, hey, watch Partner Track now. I was just about to say that. Now you guys can come see, up. You can see Arden in the city now y'all <laughs> right. i feel All like right. this is so fun and it now is. we need a whole season 10 episodes i'm gonna need a second season i'm just putting it out there let's yeah. manifest it yeah. we're <laughs> manifesting right. it